And so I would like to see this experience of people that moved from Java to Go, especially regarding uh, backend server side projects, which is exactly the work I mainly do. Did you like it? Are you working more or less? Indeed, it's a funny question because are you working more or less? I guess what he means is that if it's easier doing things with Go than with Java and not about the amount of overall work by itself, is it better paying worth to the headaches of dealing with Go issues? All languages and all platforms, they they all have their own issues. It's not Go's <laughs> only weakness. So every single language has it. I've made the reverse switch. I was doing backend Go work, and now I'm doing backend Java work. It's all about the team and the company you work for. I agree. There is no silver bullet, so there's no one solution that fits all. And it all depends on the company, the culture, and the people around you as well. And the difference don't seem uh, like they are that important to me. It's easy to build your project. Go is easier, so or in Go. is to consume dependencies and is to run tests. ID supports good. Java is better. Yeah, this one, I, I agree. I use both Visual Studio Code and Goland, and I can tell you that Goland is way better. But even Goland being better, uh, IntelliJ, for example, for Java is way superior. It all boils down to the offer and, and, and demand. So there is way more demand for Java. So companies, they, they, they will usually invest more. Uh, Go's adoption is, is growing. Overall, I prefer Go. But it's not like one of those languages has a decisive advantage over the other. And that's exactly the way I feel. I really like both. Java, I would say that was my first true love. I've been working with Java for so many years now. I have worked with many other or a few other technologies before Java, but Java is definitely the language that I have worked for longer. And yeah, comparing with Go, I, I really don't feel like they are too far apart in capabilities. I like Go's error handling. I like that. Not everything is a class. I like having multiple returns from a function. Yeah, that's that's nice as well that Go does that for us. I like structures, literal overusing the builder pattern, fluent interfaces <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, they, they can be annoying. Go on the library feels a little bit more complete and more coherent. Java has some baggage. And here is uh, is another point where I do I do I do understand why. Java has decided because Java started in well, 1994, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So by that time, so that was pretty ev everything. Uh, there, there was no cloud systems. They were usually built monolithically and the libraries, they, they, they kept evolving, but they were really scarce and people started building their own projects and own libraries, open sourcing them. Uh, we have now a patch with a lot of tools and libraries for Java. And of course, uh, if you have different people, different groups uh, building stuff, they won't be as standardized as possible yeah, it, because that's, that's impossible. So there are different people in different places. And on the contrary, when Go was born, they already had all, all of that history, not only from Java, but from other programming languages. And they incorporated a lot of those things inside the language or the, the platform, such as the, the build system. So Go build is native from Go platform. For Java, you have to use Maven, Gradle, or any other third-party building tool. It's a little easier to navigate through a typical Go project. Okay, let's agree to disagree. It, it depends on the project structure and how people uh, structure the project and how good the code is. At the end of the day, these are just preferences. It's not like I'm unhappy writing Java. I just prefer Go. It's interesting. So the very first answer was from someone who did the opposite move. He was working with Go and then he started working with Java. I'm really glad that he's not really unhappy writing Java. As I said before, the syntax is really close from each other. And that's because they have the same parent, which is C, they really look alike. So people moving from one language to the others, they won't feel that's different. I made the reverse switch to Kotlin and Spring. We are not talking not about uh, the language itself, but more about frameworks. That can be tricky to, to measure. But he says here, it isn't necessarily the language itself that's a problem for me, but the tooling and ecosystem. Yeah, I can see people having that feeling. As I said, Java has a very long history and it has been 
growing and evolving since its inception. And there are other interactions between Java libraries, frameworks, and Kotlin. Yeah, I can't say much about Kotlin because I have never worked with it. That's, that's a problem and interaction between the libraries, frameworks, runtime, vulnerability, Java threads, and coroutines mixing. The other engineers on my team and I have struggled with this particular interop quirks, and it bites us from time to time. It doesn't help that none of us were Java Kotlin devs before, and there is no expertise at the company, bad turnover period. Yeah, that, that doesn't help either. If you are starting something from scratch that you have never seen with a technology that you have never worked with previously, yeah, that is scary. It takes time to ramp up and to learn how to do things on the proper way. I also find Go way easier uh, to read and navigate as compared to Java. In particular, when I'm diving into library framework code, I find Java code tends to have a lot of interaction and it's difficult to follow, especially with annotation and reflection based libraries. Yes, this is a big problem in Java. The majority of these frameworks, um, Spring and Hibernate, they use uh, reflections and dynamic proxies. And if you have to debug those things, it is quite hard. The majority of the time we, we were not debugging uh, those frameworks. They, uh, they, they, they have been around for a very long time and they usually work fine. But if, if, if you have it true, that's the, I, I can say that's really painful and scary. I've definitely read some Java that was written in a clear and concise way to me. But I am here. That has been the exception and not the norm. Here, that's, that's a problem not uh, about the language, but the developer or the programmer who wrote the code. There is, uh, there is the, the possibility or it is possible to write spaghetti code in any language. I don't think uh, I've ever had a problem with following Go code when lower level systems code. I guess just the baggage that comes with the JVM ecosystem that makes me want to go back to Go. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe, or maybe you you like Go more than Java, which is completely fine. Yeah, interesting. Next one here, when Kotlin is just interacting with Kotlin, I have to admit it's a very enjoyable programming language to work with. I agree that the comment about interaction, my experience writing Go has, I think, improved my Java code. My code and tests are easier to follow. I have a kind of built up dislike of Kotlin. <laughs> It's funny that now things just got off rails and people are now going after Kotlin. I have a kind of built up a dislike of Kotlin, but in the back of my head, I know it's largely from having to constantly interact with Java. I do appreciate many things about it, but I've, I've been down too many times, too many rabbit holes trying to figure out how to make Kotlin get along with a large pro project that has 90% of Java. That is one, one hard thing to, to accomplish. Whenever we have to make this kind of things that two or three languages they have to interoperate, that's hard. It's difficult to say or to give some some solutions to this problem. But one thing that I that comes to my mind is that try to avoid doing that interoperability between those two languages. Um, yeah, curious about Java having a better ID support. Are you comparing GoLand and ID here? Specific liking for Go. I have some small project experience in Java, but not as large scale as I'm doing, as I'm doing have done for Go. So generally curious. From my experience, yeah, I still think that the Java IDs, um, IntelliJ in particular, it has more options and more capabilities than GoLand, for example, which is the ID for GoLang. But it's not like one of these languages have this advantage over the other. Isn't Go significantly faster to both compile and run and less thirsty in terms of memory and CPU? Yes, I know. <laughs> so Java compiles super fast like Go and C Sharp. Um, yes, and Java is very, very efficient. So it has been around for a very long time. The Java version of a program will typically use more memory, and that's because of the JVM. So the JVM needs to run and manage a lot of stuff. But either Java or Go could win on a CPU. Uh, I don't know where you heard that Go has a very light CPU usage. Go has good startup time compared to Java. Yes, and that's mainly because Golang is truly compiled to the platform. Uh, Java, on the contrary, whenever we run a Java code, the JVM needs to start up, needs to read that, that source code, then needs to compile, then transform into a bytecode, then it can run. The difference is that 
for a true compilation process, just like Go, it's done beforehand, and for Java, it's done um, on the fly. In terms of standard libraries, I have experienced these extremes in both. Java has some very useful things in its standard lib, and then there are just things that are sorely lacking. We use a lot of Java to work, but we wrote our authentication service in Go. Simply because Go standard lib had much better modules for PKI and X509, which I think is insane, insane given Java is often thought as the enterprise language. <laughs> but Java standard library has poor support for, frankly, the API for dealing with PKI. It's the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my God. Meanwhile, in Go, the entire service is maybe 1200. LOC, not sure about that. And unit test is easy enough to just generate a CA and search to test things and everything without having to pre-generate a bunch of search that gets checked in just for testing. On the flip side, I find Go lacking some things like concurrent that structures. The concurrence in Go is different. I suppose there is a prob probably a good reason for this. I haven't thought through many of the ways Go's approach to concurrence might make those things less useful. 